shirt. Now people, big announcement, anyone that knows me knows I'm a still man. Big announcement today. Husqvarna is taking first place man. <sighs> <laughs> I love the saying, um, you got to give credit when credit's due. And I've been a still man for 10 years, but yeah, I can't deny Husky this time. 395 XP. Tell you what, man, this saw just blows the still out of the water, especially with performance and reliability. Not so much the 660, everyone knows that they're the best saw in the world. But now that they're not making them, they've gone to the six ones and yeah. Sorry to say, but they're not really doing the job, those ones. But I'll tell you fellas some key things that I like about this uh, 395 Husky. The first thing is anti-vibration mounts, these big springs. They make it really nice on your hands. The vibration, like, it stops a lot of that vibration that, um, if you talk to anyone that's used a 660 for 10 years, I'll tell you, they, their hands shake a little bit after cutting with them for 10 years. <laughs> but you know, real good mounts. Um, filter system's a lot better. You only got to tap that out about once every two or three days. They've still got the carby, so they can be tuned. The six ones, they can't be tuned. Good. The warranty on these saws is two years compared to the 6.1 which is I think the warranty at the moment is like 3 months so also got this little spring under here, these springs yeah. 94cc rural grunty, they don't, they don't bog out, they're fucking primo the other thing is I like the handle the trigger handle is a lot um, a lot thicker than the still so it's um, yeah Get a nice grip on there, you're not, your hand's not fully squeezed. It's nice and thick, nice trigger. I like the decompression on the side, that's good. It's nice and easy to push. It's out the way. The still one's on top. But yeah, I like the one on the side. That's good. The water kind of just runs away from it where, yeah, the still one with it on top, the water kind of sat in there if it was raining. Even though it was sealed, I, I just like the fact that it's on the side. I think it's, it's a bit more slick. I like that. Good choke on it. I like that electronic um, on and off. That's, that's good. Norwood Masterton. Shout out to you fellas. We just bought two of these. Two brand new 395s. The old man had the... 390 XP and he thrashed that man and that's not even that was semi-commercial saw this is fully commercial he thrashed that for two plus years without a dilemma cutting dots cutting decks up manually trimming and that saw just went and went and went and just didn't stop eh so you know reliability there's a big check there so let's just hope for these bigger saws the 395s will be just as reliable but so far so good with these saws, they're freaking awesome to use. Now, I'll go into the negatives now of this saw. Um, the exhaust here, when you're, when you're cutting, when you're back cutting, your tree when you're falling. See how my fingers are exposed there? This gets hot as man. The exhaust gets that hot, it feels like it's almost going to burn that your fingers, eh, when you're back cutting. So, I can't say what it will be like in summer yet. So, yeah. That'll be a later review on that. But the exhaust gets really hot. Um, what else? The other thing that I really don't like about it compared to the still is the chain adjuster is not on the side cover. You've actually got to, when you put your bar and chain on, you've actually got to reach over. You've got to be on, get your arm on this side of the chain, which is dangerous because you've got your teeth here. And you've got to try and adjust your chain tension on the inside here.
and it's just really awkward like trying to hold the bar up trying to be on a weird angle like this and trying to tighten up the chain so I'd say the exhaust getting hot putting your chain back on is definitely harder than the steel one other thing one other thing I really don't like this sounds like I actually like the stools better but no no this stool takes first place but the stool has the clear plastics for your fuel so when you're falling when you've only got a little bit of fuel left you like you know you're about to run out see with these you could be halfway through your back cut then brr, dies just like that and you've got no warning at all so that's another thing the stool does better is the clear fuel plastics let you know how much gas you got left so that's the other thing with these, it's this pure orange, you don't have a clue how much petrol's in there. You just almost got to just hope that you don't run out in a pressure situation when you're cutting, so you've got to be careful with that. Mm -hmm.